Nikki's on tour right now. We talked about her tour coming up. It has started. It has. Uh, we talked about the fact that Monica was going to be a special guest on her tour. We did. I want to talk about some of the feedback that's been coming up. Yeah, yeah. I got the receipts with, that you sent me. So you let me know when you want me to. So I've been seeing videos. I don't know why, but concert videos pop up into my TikTok feed randomly. Like I don't search for them or anything like that. But they somehow the algorithm has it set up that when <laughs> when when artists go on tour, I the, the videos pop up in my feed. So I've been seeing a lot of Nicki Minaj videos on TikTok. Um, the first iteration of the videos were that they felt Nikki wasn't performing to the best of her abilities. That was the first part. They said it looked very low budget. They said she seemed very lazy, like she didn't want to dance or she didn't really want to do much. They said her clothes didn't look like they were up to par. A lot of people made the note that y'all just finished going to see Beyonce perform and y'all think that everybody's going to be like Beyonce. I thought that was funny. Okay. That's that's true. And that's a good point. It is. Every show is not cuz and I did see some people comparing like I saw somebody put in the comments, "Oh, you know, I saw Beyonce, so that's where the bar is for me." And it's like they're not the same artists. They don't do the same thing. Like Nicki's a rapper. If 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 y'all who love Drake or if y'all who love Insert any rapper here, really. Jay Z, J Cole, we could. A lo- there's a long list. Yep. They're not all like decked out to the nines to get on stage and rap under hot lights. And no, they go up there and what's comfortable for them. It might be designer because you know they have they could afford to at least make it look, you know, buy the the fancier versions of things. But they're not really going out there. I, Going out there and putting on in that way. And I feel like because Nikki's a woman, she's expected to kind of put on this whole razzle dazzle thing. But for a rapper, I will say Nikki in the past has been into razzle dazzle. And the more videos I watched, she is. She's got on her bodysuits and her boots and the hair and the things and whatever. I don't know what was going on. Maybe there was the issue with wardrobe or something the first couple of shows. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't hear that. But I'm just wondering now, looking at the videos that I've seen now compared to the older videos, I just feel like sometimes y'all complain about things that you don't need to complain about. That's the first part of the the things. Okay. I don't know if you want to comment on that before I move on. No, continue. The next part of it is people are complaining about the format of the show. People are saying that, you know, there's this, that Nikki does like phases and then she gets to a certain phase where she does like all the upbeat bangers and then she slows it down and makes it a little bit more R&B. And then her special guest, Monica, comes out. Right. And things get slower. Right. They all also say that there's like an awkward like pause where I guess the DJ doesn't play. And it's kind of just people are in a holding pattern, I guess, waiting for Monica to come out. And then Monica comes out and they're like, well, she doesn't have the same energy Nicki Minaj does. Right. And then Nicki comes back out and finishes the show. Now, people keep saying they don't understand why the opening is in the middle of the show. Someone did clarify it's not technically the middle of the show. It's towards the end of the show. Okay. Just so we're clear, and we said this when we talked about this, Monica is not the show opener. Right. Monica is a special guest. Right. So she wouldn't come on at the beginning of the show because she's not opening the show. Right. Her placement, that, I don't know anything about that. I didn't see the show, so I can't speak on that. But overwhelmingly, the videos that I'm seeing, 
are from white people who don't know who Monica is. Oh, man. Overwhelmingly. And that's where these screenshots come from, right? Yes. Okay. Because black people are fed up. <laughs> yeah. Well, you let me know when you re- when you want me to start oh, reading. Go for it. All right. Well, this post says Pink Friday to highs, high highs versus low lows. Mm-hmm. It says we've been sitting like for 10 plus minutes. Nikki has six songs left and at 11 p.m., a whole other act came on stage and performed. Didn't even know her name. Multiple, multiple songs with a totally different vibe. So many pauses and delays like this, taking 15 minutes to set up the stage while the crowd feels dead. And so someone commented and said, when referring to Monica, I need the non-colored to not speak on it. It's not your lane. The black people enjoyed it, I promise. The following I don't know why that person said I'm gonna speak for all black people. <laughs> that was hilarious to me. The next comment says uh-huh. Y'all not knowing Monica's literally Y'all not knowing Monica literally says a lot. Crying laughing emoji. Next person says Renaissance really ruined all concerts for me. Because Beyonce had the most amazing visuals and mixes for moments like that. And the next person says, it's hard not to laugh and cringe after watching Beyonce on tour and watching her Renaissance film. Oh, you sent another post. I thought this was the same one. All right. I can't even see this. What's this say? All right. The top is cut off. Monica comes on stage at 11 p.m to perform rather than to an empty crowd at the beginning is so nice of Nikki. Oh, to, per- to have her perform in the middle rather than to an empty crowd at the beginning is so nice of Nikki. That's the post. Uh, someone says, if you grew up cleaning to church music, you will not mind Monica performing at any time. I wish I would stop talking about Monica I get it. You know nothing about her, but guess what? It's Nikki's tour. She loves Monica. She's an R&B legend, but of course, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> people were just so people are fed up. So you have on one hand, <laughs> you have on one hand people who are posting that they just because I have seen the amount of videos that I've seen in the last few days where people were like. Monica has this person, this person performing in the middle. No, of no, the no. Show. Nikki has this person. Oh, I'm sorry. Nikki has this person performing in the middle of the show. And, you know, and we're, we're wondering if Nikki's going to come back out or not. I just think it's really funny. Like it doesn't offend me because I feel like this is not just a, a white versus people of color thing. I feel like this is a young people thing. Like, I think that Monica was a 90s R&B artist and she is legendary in her own right. But I fear that some of these people that are posting these videos about this lady that they can't identify, it's because they're not familiar. Nikki is still Nikki is still on her traje- tra- trajectory today so that even those of us who were maybe teenagers back in 2005 and people who maybe are younger now or around that age now know her i don't think that's the same thing for monica so i feel like this is probably a lot of people who just don't know a whole lot about 90s rb and possibly because they weren't there and don't seek out that era of music i don't know i don't know i've just been speculating because i'm like on one hand i was surprised that people didn't know who monica was but then on the other hand i really had to think about it and think well you know i'm a young lady pushing 40. so (laughs) i mean like i i'm trying to be mindful of the fact that 
everybody doesn't have the same information. And while I think I think Monica is someone you should know, she's not for everybody. And I I also kind of feel like a lot of pe- these people sound like they were gifted tickets. You know, like they don't sound like fans who saw, oh my gosh. You know, because when I look at concerts too, I look at the opener. Yeah, maybe if it's one of my faves, I'm not going to care or the opener or the special guest or whatever. Maybe I won't care whether whoever it is or not. But like y'all, y'all don't even know the woman's name when you get there. Like, <laughs> it's just like, what? I think that speaks to a few points. I think number one, if you don't know who Monica is, but you're a Nikki fan, it could be for a couple of reasons. Number one, it could be age, which you pointed to. Number two, it could be demographics. Nikki is a, she's an artist with a lot of crossover records. Yeah. And so, yes, Nikki primarily does hip hop, but (sighs) Nikki sings, Nikki has pop records. I was just and, it's okay for you to say she's pop. Oh, no, I know she's pop. I'm just trying to be careful how I word this. I, I want to come off fact, factual, not judgy. And so I'm just okay. trying to make sure I, I word it properly. Because um, I don't want people to think I'm dissing Nikki in any way. Mm-hmm. Um, Nikki has um, fans in multiple genres. And so if you're a fan of Nikki's pop records... If you're a fan of Nikki's singing records, and also, yeah, you like her hip hop stuff too, because she does a blend of all three of these, you may not necessarily be a person who listens to R&B at all. Yeah. If I'm looking to listen to the records that make me twerk, the records that make me, you know, and excuse me, yes, perfect timing, the burp and the dance simultaneously. See what happens when you got a co-host? Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you're looking to, to you know, it. right. If you're looking to um, hear, if, if you're looking to hear certain records from Nikki, even the ones that might be R&B-esque, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a fan of R&B at all. all right. So it may not even have anything to do with age. I agree. Age is probably part of it, but I'm just hitting another side of things where there are probably people who are fans of Nikki that don't listen to R&B at all. Yeah. They just listen to pop. They just listen to uh, hip hop. Um, and I, I, yeah, I feel like if you listen to hip hop, you probably do know Monica, but there is still a lot of demographic questions that come into play here right um and from so the era because monica is at this point a different era she's not really and yes she makes music now she's she's featured on on nikki's album but she's not necessarily of this era like right that's just the way it is at this point right so i'm not mad at the people on the internet who don't know monica it, who monica is it's it's unfortunate, but I think it speaks to mm-hmm. all of the things that we just said. Uh, as far as this super high expectation of artists, it's foolish. What you should expect is a good performance. What mm-hmm. you should expect is a good show. No one said Beyonce spending millions and millions of dollars, which if you saw the Renaissance film, she speaks about the costs of putting on this show and the details of how hard it was to have these sets be made and travel from city to city to city in pieces because they speak about that in the Renaissance film. Mm -hmm. Um, Every artist is not doing that. Every artist cannot afford to do that. And really every artist is not interested in doing that. Everyone is not shooting a film. Everyone doesn't want you to show up in the same color at the same time and know to be quiet when she says a certain word. Right. Uh, everybody doesn't care. So soon. Yeah, because I don't, we're not at the concert. Uh, everybody doesn't care to do that. Everyone, everyone doesn't want to do that. Everyone cannot afford to do that. Everyone is also just not Beyonce. Nikki is a top tier artist and that is, is irrefutable, but that doesn't mean that she wants to copy and paste what another artist did. And really, why would she want to? Right. Exactly. Right. 
Why would she want to be like Beyonce? Now, if you have the money to go see Beyonce and also to go see Nikki, hats off to you. Kudos to you. But your expectation of a copy and paste show is foolish. Every artist has creative rights. Every artist has creative license, which means they can put together their show however the fuck they feel like doing it. Hello? Thank you. That's it. That's it for me.